everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at TechTrader.com. It's Thursday, May the 18th. These are the charts of the day, and as we do every Thursday, we'll look at the swing trades that are currently still active. Alphabetically, AMAM, beautiful chart, explodes in December, about two months of falling wedges, explodes in February, and another couple of months of ascending bull coil, and breaks out. My targets now were 22 and a half. Actually, my targets are 18 and 22 and a half. APLS, as you can see, the stock pop and we put a swing on it. It went from the high 70s to the mid 90s. It pulled back. It popped again today, but backed off. Got up to size 93.71, finished 87.50, though down 175. So maybe a reversal there. You can see there's resistance in the mid 90s, but if it doesn't go, 105, 110 zone is my target. APP, explosive move out of a base with a breakaway gap and a wedge. I put a swing on it. It's pushing forward. Another 70 cents or 3% today, but my target now is about 29. APYX broke out of a base with, with a thrust. We put a swing on it. It's moved quite dramatically since then. It's been up every day for seven days in a row. Uh, my next target is about seven and a half, three quarters, and then we're looking way up there near 11. Maybe. ARCT, well, it's come down in the last week, but it broke out of the flag. We put a swing on it and ran up pretty sharply. And now I'm looking for a higher, uh, retest of the mid 30s and then maybe 40. But a key support now, 25 and a half. The mirror exploded, beautiful swing. It got right to the target zone and backed off, but held the 20 period moving average and then snapped right back today up another 4.5%. It looks to me like this is the bottom. That's a breakaway gap. The trend has changed. The next targets are 10, 3 quarters, and 12. CGNT, that's Cognite Software, exploded, pulled back. We put a swing on it. It's been coiling for about a month today. It started to pop a little bit. But I think he's going to be, can he get over 4 half, 4.55? If it does, 5.5 and, and 6.5 and are your targets. Koya recently popped on big, big Alzheimer's drug news and then pulled back. We put a swing on it. A little higher than this, um, 598, I think it's 562. But I'm looking to see if it holds after filling this gap. And uh, but key support is, is around the 495 zone. That is, can, we cannot let it go below that. And ideally, when you see a stock that does this, you'd like to see it hold there and then accelerate back up. I think six and a half and eight are targets. <clears throat> Excuse me, Carvana. Um, popped out and broke and, and pulled back right to support, and now it's bouncing again. I think if it holds support around 10, I'm good to go with this one. I retest the 14 and then up to 17, 18. MVT, one of the top picks of the year, still looking good with the break out of the falling channel of the last February, March. It, you can see it ran back from uh, under 14 to 21 today. And for me, the extension targets are 23 and a half, three quarters, and then 28. INOD broke out and pulled back, wedged, made a higher high, pulled back one more time and tested. Today it spiked from 8 to 10.29, finished 10.08 up 179. Big day for it. I think it's going to extend to around $11 at the top of the channel. INTC with a um, base breakout, we put a swing on it, then pulled back to form a wedge or a coil. At this point, the uh, stock is getting narrower and quieter. But I'm hopeful that it holds the 28 area. That should stop. Targets 34 and 37. IONQ in a five wave advance is taking it from three to over nine. As a matter of fact, the high was 945 today. It's been up every day for two and a half weeks, except for one day here on the pullback retest. So it's a pretty strong surge and it might extend up to 11. Stay tuned on that one. Joby comes out of an inverse head and shoulders. We broke out, we put a swing on it. It's advanced nicely. But just since the April low, it's gone from three and three quarters to five and a half. Um, your targets are six and seven. LAZ, LAZR uh, pop, we put a swing on it, but it did back off. So technically, it was a breakout, but it didn't follow through. Now, I'm not happy about it, but I think the stock can stabilize here and move up to next target, which is seven and three quarters and then nine. SANA pop broke out of the flag. We put a swing on it and moved up nicely, reached target number one. Uh, tagging seven and three quarters, and now flagging for three days. In, engulfing reversal bar today, um, the next targets are eight and three quarters and ten. SSYS broke out, we put a swing on it, it's been stalling for two days, 
I like to look though, I think 16 and a half and 18 are targets. And thread up has been around in a swing for quite a few weeks now, but it's moved up nicely from uh, under two to about 360. And you can see that the trend tells me that four to quarter, four and a half would be your next target. And finally, Weight Watchers, which exploded after we put a swing on it, reaching a target there. Then pulled back and exploded, but reversed. Had a pretty tough week, a week and a half ago, but has been moving up nice and steadily. It's filled the gap that it broke down from. And now I'm looking for a retest of the nine and a quarter and a half zone, followed by 11 uh, in that area. That's it for tonight, everybody. Have a great evening.